evening folks. So it's about um, a kilometre 35 into the um, marathon up and over Penny Fan. I wouldn't say I've bitten off more than I can juice today, but this has been absolutely horrific. Um, the gradient was punishing, and I can see why they call it a fan dance. It's literally up and down, like some sort of disgusting ballet. You go up one peak, you come down it, you go up another one, you come down it, and then you've got Penny Fan, which just got the steepest finish right at the end. And um, I had to really go deep um, to get up it. I wanted to sack it off and call it a day. Um, and I was exhausted when I got to the top. Absolutely exhausted. And I sat down, I had some cake and I had some tea. And I felt cold straight away. Like really, really cold. Sort of cold you don't really know in the city, on the North Downs. You never let yourself get that cold. So yeah, it's, it's night now. Just gone about 6.30, I reckon I've got about another hour and a half before I get back to the car. And I'm pissed off at myself because I've run out of water. Which is just such a... It's such a, uh, Amateur error. Anyway. We'll, um, we'll press on. I've got some more tea and cake. So that's something. In case I get a bit flaked out. But this has been hard. I think this is a lot harder than the Green Sand Way. For different reasons. Like, that was just attrition. But this has been physical. This has really sort of tested my metal, my resolve to actually complete what I say I'm going to do. Maybe there's a lesson in there not to get mouthy on the internet, but I still wouldn't have any other way. You know, there's people making this journey in Slovenia, which is far more mountainous and the weather's worse. I've had it easy today, folks. Like, it rained up till about 2 o'clock, and I got wet. My boots got pretty sopping wet, but I've dried out in the, in the afternoon. It's not been too bad. Now it's just sort of relatively cloudy. Big moon's out, so I can see, still see where I'm going. I've got the sheep for company. And now will take me back to Tali Bontonask. Um, Sam's waiting for me in the car. I'm going to be in the right state when I get back. What a day. What an absolute day. If you've never been to the Brecon Beacons, come. Do not park in Tally Bontonask and try and walk up Penny Fan from there, then back again. Just do maybe five, ten kilometres and you'll see some incredible sights. It's a beautiful part of the world. Um, I can't wait to come back again. Maybe under a bit more uh, leisurely climbs. All right, you have a good evening. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Night-night. Bye-bye.